Hey guys, it's Mac, and you're probably really confused as to why I'm on the bathroom floor and I don't have a shirt on. Um, but I promised I'd make this video yesterday, but then I got really busy with midterms and then I saw Andrew Gibson live. But uh, I haven't been on the channel for a couple weeks and I've been really, really busy and I thought I'd do a couple updates for you guys um, and actually do a video for once. Um, even though I have an exam tomorrow and I'm so fucked. But I thought I'd let you know that if you haven't been paying attention to my Tumblr or the Identifying Beyond Tumblr, I'm actually on T now. Um, I started last week, so that's really, really exciting. Um, I'm on Andrew Gel. I already put it on. I was gonna do it when I was putting it on, but I. I'm on Andrew Gel. Um, it's not too bad so far. The changes that I've noticed. Um, this last week. My voice feels a little bit funny. I wouldn't say that it sounds any different to me. Um, like, I can still go up and down like it sounds fine. Like, I can still reach most of the notes that I would hit when I'm singing, but <clears throat> it's just really tickly and I cough a lot and I'm like always like clearing my throat like <clears> throat> like because I can't really um, talk otherwise it just feels funny and sometimes like it'll come out sounding different pitches. My voice is cracked like twice already, but it's been like weird. Um, like little weird cracks like I think the only reason I'm noticing is it like it is because I'm a singer and because like I'm trying to hit those top notes and it's gone from like five days ago I could hit a note to like now I can't um, you fucking hear that <coughs> <coughs> yeah so it's like that it's really really weird my voice keeps going like that um other than that I've been really hungry and I never had an appetite before so that's been really interesting. Like I've been to dietitians and doctors because I didn't have an appetite and as soon as I started taking tea, like the only thing I've been is hungry. Like it's just, it's absolutely nuts. Um, I wake up in the middle of the night because I want to eat food <laughs> and that's never been something I ever did. Like um, if you know me, I'm not a huge food enthusiast. So um, it's been really good because I've been feeling a lot better. I've also went vegan when I went on tea because I figured that if I'm going to do something for myself I should do something for others for the environment, for the little animals that don't have a say. Um, so I went vegan. I've been a vegetarian since I was 12, 13, so it wasn't a huge deal for me. Um, I'm just lactose intolerant too, so I've just been feeling a lot better. My digestion's been going through a lot better, a lot cleaner, like I don't feel sick. Like before when I was um, eating, like it'd be a struggle to eat and then I'd have a stomach ache the entire night because it hurt so much. Um, I would just be like not crying sometimes and now it's like it's not, it doesn't hurt, my stomach doesn't hurt, like, um, it's incredible. The only thing I feel is that I'm still hungry all the time, like, <laughs> but I think that's because of the tea, so, um, yeah, um, downstairs has been tingly, I think that's the thing that I noticed first, um, I don't think I've noticed any changes really, but, like, it's just been really tingly, I don't really know how to explain tingly to you, but, like, it's just been really tingly, <laughs> like, it feels weird, um, and then my arm, after I'll put like my like I'll put my tea on, um, it'll hurt. It'll start aching. And the first couple days were worse. It felt like someone had come up and punched me in the arm. Um, and that was really weird. And yeah, you can see it. It's like really shiny. I'm, like it's shiny all day. <laughs> like I can get in the shower the next morning and I wash it off and like there's a little coat of oil. Like kind of feels like. But like I make sure I rub it in. So. I don't know. Um, anyways, I think that's my tea update. There's a couple questions in my ask box, but I'm just gonna answer one of them because I don't wanna make this video too long. Um, question is, Mac, I think I read a post from you where you said that the doctor didn't give you a choice between gel or shots. If you gave me a choice, would you still have chosen gel? Why is that? Um, for me, there's a couple reasons why I should have, like, I should have chosen gel. The first one was when I went for my uh, blood test, it took them seven different tries, not including trying in my hand, which they never got to, but they put a heat, like a heating bag on it. Um, seven different tourniquets just to get a needle in my veins. Um, that's happened every single time, every single year. Like I've been having blood tests since I was seven. <clears throat> so I really don't have a positive relationship with needles. So when it came to like taking tea, like if I had the possibility of taking anything else, like I would take that way before I would take the shots. But like when it came down to it, I like if I had to take the shots, I would have done it. Um, but, because the Andrew Dell technology is there, um, it gives you a more constant dose, like you get a dose every single day and then you don't have those like trows in your last couple days and I'm a really emotional person, so um, 
if I had those trials or if I had those like lacking those huge mood swings on the last couple days, like my girlfriend would hate me. Um, she already told me, she's like, I really am not excited for your mood swings if that's something that's gonna happen. And um, yeah, no, it looked like a steadier dose, especially for someone my age. Um, my doctor even said like, I'm pretty young to be starting tea. Like I turned 19 in April. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know, it just seemed like the right thing for me to do. Um, it always kind of seemed like the right thing in my mind. Um, I've been thinking when I went into the doctor though that she was going to give me a tea shot, that I was going to get a shot. Like so the last three weeks I've been thinking that I was going to get a shot. And then when she actually discussed going on tea with me, um, she talked about Andrewville. And that was amazing because that's actually what I've been looking up because um, of Chase's videos. So, and there's another guy before it him that used Andrew Dow too, but I think um, his is what really convinced me that at least that was something that I could do, because um, especially in Canada. Anyways, thanks for watching my video guys, I'm so sorry that it was so long and rambly. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below, I will get to them, I'll answer you guys anything. Um, I know there's another question, how long it took for me to get on T. I went to the Met, like the university campus. If you live on a university, like if you go to university, you go to school, go to your campus doctor before you go to Vancouver Coastal Health, like wellness, because the waiting list is about four months. You can get around it if you're under 21, by the way. So if you haven't looked into that, you definitely can. Um, but if you like are over 21 and you want to start transitioning, there's a four month wait list at Vancouver Coastal. So um, I'd get on that if I were you. Um, but I got to go through my school because I'm a university student, um, so I went through my doctor and she has the ability to prescribe testosterone because she's part of the clinic, like the special kind of clinic, I don't know, she just, she can do it for me, so I went through her and it was fucking awesome, so thanks for watching my video guys, I still love you, of course I love you guys, um, if you need anything, if you have any questions, my Tumblr is also open, um, it's about all I can think about, okay, bye guys. <laughs>